Hello everybody, Ken here. This is the tape echo rig box I built. Sitting on the ground here and see all the controls from there. Use this new camcorder, so these are gonna be a little good goofy. Um we got our guitars over there. I'm gonna run a couple chords over here from the amplifier and I'm thinking I'll probably Maybe try this two ways. I'll record direct line into the camcorder, and at the same time, I'll also record maybe a live microphone version of what the sounds like. I'm not sure how I'm going to split this so it sounds equal. Maybe I'll just do like a little live video first, you know, messing around with some how it show you guys what all the controls do and stuff. It's out of curiosity if you ever want to see what a tape echo does. And this is my own recreation of a modern version of the old ones. Kind of the same deal. Camera light on there. So yeah, this is my own modern interpretation of uh, tape echo, built into an old money box. Easy transport, right? Get this thing around at parties and stuff pretty easily. If you actually want to use this anywhere like that, considering the tape itself is finicky. It is built out of using um you know, what is it, uh, one-eighth inch or whatever cassette tape. It's not using, uh, not using, you know, a quarter inch like uh, real drill. So that was a major challenge here. And all the tape heads up here, which I can take these off eventually and get those in some other shots. Those are all uh, cassette replay heads. All, well, yeah, all three of those. Record head and then race head down in here. So that's how it looks. Anyways, uh, get some audio. All right. So we got to go from the input on my guitar amplifier here. A little home jobby. So we got to go in from there. Audio into the amp. The back. Holy shit! It's bright over here. Um. Let's see. This is getting used to working the cam at the same time. Okay. Output and we need our guitar input. Out to the guitar. There we go. Plop this on the ground and uh, do some recording. Let's see what the hell it does. because the cassette tape is on here and it's been spun around a bunch of times so it's starting to get old starting to get that kind of kind of shitty sound to it a little bit anyway see let's go with a long delay and a little bit of feedback Yeah, I'm stuck in a plan. It's 
going around the setting and see what old songs I can get here. You know, one of the things I like is when, uh, if I can get this to happen again. Uh, so turn the dry mix over there. I like they kind of slowly fade in as they play. Kind of gives that kind of a drum kick, but they put it in reverse. They use that for sound effects. Sounds so. Yeah, the tape is getting old by now. That's something like that. Cut that bit out, that was a little bit loud. It really does feedback when you want it to. <laughs> <laughs> 